Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about a module called WatchersNet Sitemap. And with this module, you can create a sitemap to your .NET 2 web website. You can either create a sitemap page or you can create a sitemap area in each and every page of your site, which is very, it's getting very, very uh, used nowadays. Now, here is the uh, site from the guys that have developed the module, uh, WatchersNet. I see myself coming to their site quite frequently nowadays. They have a set, uh, quite a good set of free modules. Again, very, very, very key free modules. And please support them. They do have a PayPal contribution button, donation button. So please support them. They do have great modules here. Now, I went to download the module already. I have it downloaded. Uh, you can just basically from their page, which I'll be posting in the video post, you can click download. It will be redirected to CodePlex. From CodePlex, you can click download, agree, then save it. So it's downloaded already. Now I'm going to try the module. I'm going to my test website, website, DNN website. I'm going to log in as super user. And I'm going to install that module. I'm going to go to host, module definitions. Under module definitions, I'm going to move the mouse over the action menu, install a module, and click browse, put the folder, click in the installation file, the zip file, click open, click next, then click next again, some release notes, click next, I'm gonna accept the license, click next, See the installation, installation successful, great, click return. So from here, I'm gonna scroll down, see if the module is installed. Yep, it, it is, WatchersNet sitemap. So let's try to use it. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can either have a sitemap page, which was uh, used uh, in the past. I mean, it was quite frequent in the past to have a sitemap page. But nowadays, what we see most is in the footer of the, in the bottom of the pages, we do see a sitemap uh, in general throughout uh, the websites out there, the most recent websites. But I'm just gonna create a, a new page and call it sitemap and put the sitemap there, experiment a little bit with the settings. So this is a sitemap. I'm gonna make it visible to our users, click update. Oops, I think this is a restricted page name. Let's let's put it just one at the front. I didn't know that. I'm gonna delete this module from here so I can clean some space. And at the top, I'm going to select the watchers net sitemap and I'm going to add. Now, it seems that this module can also be used as a skin object. For those who know how to build skins, you may be interested in that as well. But I'm going to I'm going to try it just as a regular module. So I'm going to I'm going to add this module to the page. And yes, I can see there is already a predefined uh, skin that is loaded here uh, with the look and feel. It shows the home, the news, news details, which is under under news sitemap, which is the one that I just put it now. The admin menu because I'm logged in. The post menu because I'm logged in as super user. Now let's explore a little bit the settings of this module. So if we go to the action menu and then go to settings, let's see what it has. This is the first time that I see this module in action. Now it does have a three view display. See how it looks like. Let's click update. Okay, so it looks like a three view. Let's go back there. See the settings, and then let's let's flip to normal. And there are a couple of skin options. Let's let's um, let's see what this dig skin looks like. So it has already a skin preview. Very good, very good. Uh, 
it, you can show or hide the copyright information. Let's let's hide that. Um, now from here, I can click update. Let's see how it looks like. Well, it has quite a quite a nice a nice look to it, and the the copyright message was gone. If I go back to the settings, um, I'm sure that we can go to the site files and and create skins if we want. Let's have a look at that. I'm running the site locally, so I'm going to open my Windows Explorer. And here's the root folder of my site. I'm going to the desktop modules. And I should see here WatchersNet sitemap. Here it is. And there is a skins folder. So I'm sure that I can create a copy of any one of those skins and I can modify that as I see fit if I know what I'm doing. Um, so let's let's do a, a little test here. Let's copy this dig. Continue. Then let's rename it to my test. Okay, so let's have a look here. Let's refresh the settings page. And I hope that I will be able to see a skin selection, a new skin selection in a drop down. My test is right here. So again, we can create copies and we can go into the folder, change the CSS file if we know what, what we are doing and have a different look and feel. Now, there are still a couple of options here. Not sure if we have time to see all of them. You can also select root folder. Again, there are a couple of more uh, sophisticated options here. Show hidden tabs, that's interesting. If I select this, I will be able to, to, to see hidden tabs as well. If I click update, yes, see this three, three, two, those are hidden tabs and I can see a more comprehensive sitemap right now. So basically this is it. This is a brief intro of the watchers net sitemap and this is a nice module simple flexible you can change the skins you can change the look and feel you can have a more traditional tree view you can have a more more modern uh look like this one that usually sites are bringing that in the in the bottom of the sites and that's the way you can do you can build a sitemap for your dotnet nuke website thank you very much and bye for now